Welcome back, y'all. What's happening out there in WBB land? We are back with another video, and this is a 12-part series highlighting each team for the upcoming 2025 WNBA expansion draft. Each video will highlight one team, project their protected six players, as well as project who Golden State will take from their team. Without further ado, let's get it popping. The Connecticut Sun are one of three teams still looking for a new head ball coach. Obviously, Steph White out the door to Indiana. The writing was on the wall. It wasn't working there for a while. Darius Taylor, the general manager, is going to take his time. We're entering a little bit of an interesting time for Connecticut here. Brianna Jones, unrestricted free agent, can't be court. Dewana Bonner, unrestricted free agent, can't be court. Now, I think it's pretty straightforward what this team does, but I'm not ruling out the possibility of them coring Alyssa Thomas and then possibly dealing her to the highest bidder. I, I Honestly, I wouldn't put it past them. It might be total rebuild time. But here's what I think is going to happen. Of course, like I said, we're going to start off Alyssa Thomas. She will be protected. I think this accomplishes a couple things. If you are trying to be competitive this year, obviously having your best player back is going to do that. But also, it kind of incentivizes Dewana Bonner to stay as well. Sign another one-year contract, headed into that new CBA. I think that's the most likely outcome there. Next, of course, Dijanae Carrington. You're obviously going to be protecting her. I think of the players on the roster now, her and new BFF, Marina Mabry, might be the only two we see there after this upcoming season. Then you go ahead, Ty Harris. I guess she's another possibility as well that could be there. I think she's a no-doubter. Gives you shooting, gives you spacing. Then it gets a little bit interesting. With that fifth protection, I think Darius Taylor protects his 10th pick from last year's draft. Of course, that's the 5'11 French point guard, Leila Lacan. Now, it's interesting because it's hard to know with these French players, especially young ones like her, and with their international commitments, when, if ever, they're going to come over. I think she's too valuable of a prospect slash contract to own the rights to, to not protect her. Now, if you want to make an argument here for Veronica Burton, you can make that argument. But I think if they were to let Lacan go, I'm pretty certain Golden State would snatch up that contract just as I think they'll do with Izzy B out of Atlanta, just like they might with Julia Mond in Los Angeles, just like they might with a couple other international contracts. Once again, they're great assets to have and they allow you maneuverability. So that's what I think they're going to do with the fifth. And the last protection, I think Darius Taylor chooses Olivia Nelson Adota over Veronica Burton. And I think he's got to. I really respect Veronica Burton's game. I think she came a long way. I think she's absolutely a WNBA player. But I think Nelson Adota's size and her body are just way too valuable. I think she hasn't even scratched the surface just yet. 6'5", can run like the wind, get up and down the court, is a rim protector, is improving offensively. I Here's one. If they, if they don't choose to protect her, she will 100% be a Golden State Valkyrie. So I think that's what's going to happen, which means, drum roll please, the Golden State Valkyries select Veronica Burton. That's right. This is, I think, pretty clear and cut. And this is a situation Golden State will take a player, and I think they will be in impact right away. Like I said, Veronica Burton is steadily improving. Her defense has always been top-notch. Her offensive game is starting to get better and better. Her range, better and better. Her feel for the court, her control. So I think this is a chance where she goes to Golden State. She might get a starting nod depending on who else they pick up and depending on what the free agency class looks like. Quick postscript on this Sun team. As I mentioned on the top, Brianna Jones cannot be court. It's not inconceivable 
She goes over to Golden State too. They're going to be in the market for one, two, three max deals. And if they can get a player of her offensive caliber for a first year build, it's very possible that is enticing to both parties. I don't know, you know, what her situation is in Connecticut. I don't know if she likes it. I don't, we don't know who the coach is. So I think that is going to matter a great deal. And if that is the case, that might be a domino situation, folks. Once again, Darius Taylor might look at the team. He might be talking to Alyssa Thomas, Dewana Bonner. He might know they're not going to be there for very much longer. That might be when he goes ahead and cores Alyssa Thomas, looks for a couple first-round picks in that 26-27 draft. These loaded draft classes. And frankly, I wouldn't blame him at all. Then you have Dijanae Carrington, maybe Mabry. Ty Harris, Adota, Lacan, and then you start loading up. You get a lot of first round equity in the next two years, and then you can kind of plan for the next five or so. So that's where I see the Connecticut Sun.